Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to part 2 of my squad video. If you haven't seen the first part then go and have a look at that first. As you'll see that I said in there, I wasn't actually planning on making this two separate parts but the whole recording ended up about 17 or 8 minutes long. So we'll carry on where I left off. I think I left off from my Barclays Premier League Silver squad and you'll see the rest of the squads after that. On to one of the next squads. Uh, we'll go all the way down here and this is Silver Serie B. I have messed around with this occasionally as I did want to use Aral Hernandez a little more. I didn't like the centre defensive mids. So I have changed it a little bit. It's not really a high, bit of a fake hybrid as the players from different leagues aren't really linking to the Serie B. But I did want to try Florenzi. I haven't tried him. He's not particularly, he's not really got the best stats of a centre defensive mid. Still does have 68 defence and has high medium work rates, I think. But he should work fairly well with upgraded William Carvalho. And this team may work out well. If it doesn't, I'll probably just put someone like Schiacca back in there. Probably Barreto. And then just link it up with some Italians rather than using the Serie B centre-backs. Next squad will move all the way down. Again, this is taking quite a while because I've got to move all the way down to find the squad. Next one is Silver Brazil. Or Brazil Silvers, which I don't think have changed that much. Other than I think I've changed the defence a little bit. So I was using this team quite a lot with my Inform Ari and I did get rid of Wallison for the Inform Ari to go there instead. And I did find the defence was lacking a bit compared to previous years of Brazil Silvers. So I thought instead of using Brazil Silver defence, I can get away with using Carnu there, alongside Fania, then use Thuram Ulian, use this amazing French centre-back Koulibaly and then just go for the pacey Tushimanga. And this has been working out fairly well recently, much better than the Brazil Silver defence. It's quite a bit faster, but this French guy, Koulibaly, is one of my favourite defenders this year. Move down eventually to the next squad. Uh, as we get all the way down, you'll probably see some gold teams soon. I've been using a few of them. So the next one is Barclays Premier League Non-Rare. One of my favourite non-rare teams I have used this year. Probably used about 10, 15 non-rare teams and only kept about three or four of them, the ones that I like the most. And this team is incredibly, incredibly solid. When I did use this a few months back when I wasn't uploading, I did win, I think, the gold tournament about four times in a row with this team, unbeaten. I did also attempt to try Inform Skoko here. No, not Inform Skoko, the transferred Skoko, that's what I meant. Other than that, though, it's the bog standard, really. No real changes, no real upgrades I can really make to this. This is pretty much the best Barclays Premier League non-rare team that I've seen or I have played with in terms of using most of them, to be honest. DRB up front, you'll probably wonder why the hell am I using him. I did want a target man, and he also has incredible dribbling. And although his stats aren't cut out for... for um, playing a striker, he did play incredibly well and was actually my top scorer when using this team. Other than that though, Morales is probably the best player on this team. If you do, if you haven't tried him and you haven't tried non-rare Barclays Premier League Silvers, non-rare Barclays Premier League Golds, I mean, I'm getting really confused, then use Morales, he's an incredible player. Karen down now, I've showed you so many squads already, but I do have absolutely loads and even more teams that I haven't even got in squad slots. So next one is my common Stokes squad. So you've probably guessed who's in this team, you've got Commons, you've got Stokes, you've got a few SPL players and you've also got some Dutch players here. So I've got my Inform Commons up here, I've then got my Inform Stokes. Inform Stokes isn't too great though, Inform Commons isn't as good as last year either, but he does have slightly better finesse shots, not as good long shots. Inform Stokes was kind of disappointing, I haven't noticed too much of an upgrade based on the normal card. And then I've linked this to a few Dutch players because I didn't particularly like the SPL defence. We'll move down here and we'll then go to, what is it now, we've got a, one of my bronze teams. And this bronze team here is my bronze MLS, so I'll go and put a healing card here on Villarreal. Just put that one on there. And this was really fun for a while, I did get into bronze squads for a while when I wasn't uploading. And this is incredibly solid, it is, it is pretty much the obvious pacey squad. But you've got long shots everywhere, you've got amazing finesse shots. It's just really, really solid. Although obviously it is pacey, it is fairly common. It just looks really nice though, plays really nice in game. It is fairly symmetrical as well with those links. Move all the way down to the next squad. and. See which one this is. This is my Brazil Gold. Isn't is another non-shiny team, and this is probably actually my favourite non-shiny team, even better than the Barclays Premier League Barclays Premier League non-rare team. And you've got this team here. You've got Wellington up front. You've got 
I think that's Emerson, you've got Shakhtar's Douglas Costa, and the best player on the team, you've got Thiago Neves. Thiago Neves is absolutely amazing, scores long shots for, just scores so many different long shots. I've scored plenty of long shots against Neuer, teams like that, and this team has won so many of the gold tournaments as well. Karen moving all the way down to the next team, and the next one is... Silver Kelly, this is the fairly standard Silver Kelly team to be honest. Unless you're going to go with the wingers that some people use, but the wingers have got absolutely awful shooting. You've got Kim Shinwook, you've got Solky Hyun, you've got Leonardo. This guy here who has got absolutely amazing long shots, this very, very fast centre attacking mid, mid here, changed to a centre mid. And also putting the Bundesliga centre back, I think that is, the Bundesliga Korean centre back into there as well, and making a fairly solid team. Move back down here to who else is next? Next, we've got Liga Portugal, which I think this might be another gold team. I think it might be, I can't remember. Yeah, it's my gold non shyly Liga Portugal team. Another one of the solid teams. Haven't used it that much recently. It was probably the first non rare gold team that I made, mainly because of Ede and because of Rodrigo as well. It's not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it's still another fairly solid team and also fairly cheap as well. So again, we'll move all the way down and move on to the next one. And the next squad, I don't think, don't know how many more left. There shouldn't be too many left. I've got not used there. That's because of the bug, the same as last year. But there was a bug where you can't actually delete squad slots. So one of my teams tried to delete the squad slots afterwards. Hasn't worked. So that's stuck there. Bronze Championship team is another really solid bronze team that I did start using. And it's just a really, really nice team. Again, it's fairly pacey, but you do have... It was mainly built around Murray, I think, because Murray has really good long shots. Got 70 shot power, 70 shooting, I mean, and much higher shot power, I think. And also around Josh King, and Josh King's got amazing, shot, amazing shooting, amazing finesse shots, amazing power shots, everything really. And also you've got Ishmael Miller, who doesn't look particularly great, but also has amazing shooting. There should only be a couple of squads left. This has gone on quite a while. So by the time I come up to upload this, this may end up being in two, two episodes. As I do think 16 minutes, 20 minutes long, however this ends up being, is way too long. So now I think the last team is possibly this gold Serie A team. I do have quite a few more silver teams, but I'm waiting for the season, the season players to come out. But anyway, gold Serie A, this is a team I mainly built around this Thoreau guy, who is an incredible, incredible striker. Really, really solid stats there all round. Probably one of the best non-rare silver strikers. Non rare gold striker. I keep saying non rare silver, not one of the best non rare gold strikers there is. You've also got Insigne, you've got Emmanuelson, who Emmanuelson, the rate, current rate he's going, not really playing too much. Playing at left back, I think, sometimes will probably be a silver next year based on head to head stats. You've also got Nocherino here, a few other decent players, but that is just about it for my squad. As I said, you may end up seeing this video as two different episodes as this is, I'm looking at the recording here and it's currently at 17 and a half minutes. That is way too long. So yeah, if you do see it as two different episodes, then thanks for watching guys. And I probably will bring out a club video next week as well to show you all of my informs. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.